Have yeah. you ever heard of <laughs> Have you ever heard of Bebo Russell? No idea. No. Is that a real is that a fictitious person? Yeah, they call him the sky thief. Um so <laughs> Bebo worked baggage handling at an airport. Oh, I remember this guy, the Sky King. <laughs> he played uh he played some video game simulators with planes. And occasionally he'd ask pilots, what's that switch do? Or what's this switch do? One time they even caught him in the cockpit t- toggling around with the switches uh, that he hadn't been told about before, and they, they reprimanded him. Well, turned out that Bebo was depressed, suicidal, like really kind of done with life. And ho- so he stole a large passenger plane, took it out, and as they're like, hey, oh, you do not have clearance to move on the runway or the blah, he just ignores them takes it off perfectly and then starts doing tricks in it that most experts say are beyond them and they would never attempt especially not at those altitudes this man has like a medium-sized passenger plane doing barrel rolls and and loop de loops there's a there is a loop that he does where i'm gonna guess he it looks like he's gonna crash i'm like oh this is him dying because he's 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 like coming out of the loop mm-hmm. and like he's losing so much altitude. He's right above the ground in this mm-hmm. big plane mm-hmm. and he recovers it and takes it back up and he's talking to them as like more calmly than I am right now. He's like, "Yeah, I, I think I'm going to try to do a barrel roll and <laughs> if I make it through that, I think I'm just going to put her down in that island over there. I really didn't think I'd I'd make it this far, frankly." <laughs> And he just sort of like gives his suicide letter right there. Yeah. He's like, there's going to be a lot of family and friends that are going to be disappointed in me. I'm real sorry, but I guess I'm just a guy with a few screws loose and I'm just done. Yeah. Here's I'm apparently some quotes, like uh, some conversations between them. They have the audio. Yeah, I've heard it. Just flying around the plane. You seem comfortable with that is the operator. Oh, hell yeah. It's a blast. I've played <laughs> video games before. So, uh, you know, I know what I'm doing a little bit. <laughs> okay, and you can see all the terrain around you. You've got no issue with visibility or anything. Nah, everything's peachy. Peachy <laughs> clean. Just mm-hmm. did a little circuit around Rainier. It's beautiful. I think I've got some gas to go check out the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Andrew. People's lives are at stake here. Ah, Rich, don't say stuff like that. And that was another guy there talking on the same yeah. thing. I don't want to hurt no one. I just want you to whisper sweet nothings in my ear. They, they asked him. <laughs> Well, Rich, I already talked to him. Just like me, what we want to see is you not get hurt or get anyone else hurt. So if you want to try and land, that's the way to go. Hey, I want the coordinates of that orca, you know, the mama orca with the baby. I want to go see that guy. (laughs) What the fuck? (laughs) Sorry, my mic came off. I threw up a little bit. Sorry about that. I hope it doesn't ruin your day. (laughs) Hey, do you think if I land this successfully, Alaska will give me a job as a pilot? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you know, I think they would give you a job doing anything if you could pull this off. Yeah, right. Nah, I'm a white guy. <laughs> oh, that's gold. <laughs> this uh, guy. The middle one of sorry, my mic came off. I threw up a little bit. I'm sorry about this. I hope it doesn't ruin your day. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. He just from his quotes, he seems like a guy that just he, he just was having like, a blast flying around, he, wanting to have. No, drugs. you don't get it. He doesn't have any future. Like that's his. No, I, I but know. He's I'm, having some fun there. On he's his having way some out. fun on his way like, out. Like, is what he was trying to. I do. wish we could show like the footage of him flying the plane, because it legitimately doesn't look real. Like 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 what he's doing in that plane. He's doing like stunts in a yeah. passenger <laughs> plane for the fun of it. And he's. Mm-hmm. I I had seen like um this old footage of, I don't know one of the big Boeing planes doing those maneuvers in nevada like when they were proving them and it was a test pilot with a parachute and he Mm -hmm. was at like high altitude doing these maneuvers this kid has never been in a plane before and he's doing them over a lake like the Mm -hmm. public is out watching it's absurd he's apparently he said he wanted to do it over the lake so that if he fucked up no one would get hurt other than him eventually he put it down on a little uh when i say put it down he fucking crashed Crashed it it, nose first as fast as he could into the ground uh in an unpopulated area if he would have landed it successfully, like I feel like by this point, that was a few years ago now, like he would have been like doing Kimmel or something like they like, sure. Stealing a plane. Actually, no, he'd be in fucking Guantanamo. Probably he'd either be doing Kimmel if people thought it was funny and it was like a popular thing to meme on it. Or if it was like, this guy's a domestic terrorist, then he'd be in. If he got to be on TV in court, if they had like his court thing on TV, he would win over like like everybody based on his personality there, right? Because he, he he's very yeah, endearing. He seems, seems funny. He's all those naw shucks, you know, sweet nothings, the, that kind of 
language. I heard his voice. He's so chill. It's um I feel for him. Like he's clearly course. in pain. He committed yeah, suicide. Sad. He he didn't want to hurt anyone else. He did mm -hmm. steal some pretty expensive equipment. But good for him. <laughs> but he's yeah, I don't know. American on the way out. <laughs> yeah, I don't really like the airlines myself. Yeah. Delta's the best. I don't care what anybody says. Like like Delta. Not, I think I I'm thought biased. you'd say Virgin. I thought you were. Well, you're you're a you're a Georgia guy, so of I've course I've only Delta's been able to you. fly. Right. So Virgin doesn't fly flights out of Atlanta, seemingly. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. They they they've rarely been an option in the past. I I've only had one Virgin flight. That was really chill. Now that I think about it, that they had this like purplish, uh, pink lighting in first class, and it was a nighttime flight from like Seattle down to L.A. or something. Like it's only like a two and a half hour flight, but it was super chill. And uh, I just remember Kitty and I are up in first class and I'm in, I'm in the window and their first class is pretty nice. The seats recline and then you still have like it, it's like you're in a recliner and then you could get out of the recliner and stand and look back at the leg thing kicked up. There's there's still mm -hmm. enough room to stand there. And this little Asian lady snuck up out of coach and like walks into that space. Like she's between us and the people in front of us. Like, like we're reclined. We're like curled up in blankets, like like in our first class seats. It's nighttime. And she's like poking Kitty. Hey, hey, like waking her up and asking her how much the tickets up here cost. <laughs> how much your tickets cost? I, I refuse to help. I refuse to help or translate because Kit Kitty wakes up and she's like, well, what's it all about? Oh, what is it? Well, Oh, what does it want? <laughs> My and finally, the, finally, the flight attendant showed up and shooed that little lady back to where she belonged in the back. Yeah. I like it when the flight attendants do that because it makes me feel special. They, I, I think this is Schroedenberg. Like when you take pleasure from other people's pain, I, I may have that word messed up, but 